Hey everybody, good energy to you guys. Um, so today I am leaving, or I have a flight that's scheduled uh, in the afternoon to take me back to Oregon. Um, so I look forward to it, man, I really do. You know, and, and a lot of it does have to do with the, the situation that happened with Joy. Um, not because I'm afraid somebody's gonna kill me or something like that. But, you know, as I said in the video, if you guys watched that far into it, um, a part of the reason why I came to Florida was uh, to hopefully make things work with her. But in light of everything that's gone on recently, it's just, it's, just, it's not, I'm, <clears throat> like, I gotta move on, you know, and she's already got somebody she's seen, so good for her. You know, for the longest time I've been saying, you know, once she finds somebody, you know, I'm gonna, that would help me move on too. So, <clears throat> I'm glad that she's found somebody that she cares about and cares about her. And I also want to say, you know, I apologize because, you know, I talked about how, you know, when dogs, they know how to find their way home and, you know, she let Yoki go. And, you know, the fact that Yoki didn't come back to her house, you know, talks about, or, you know, to me, I said it shows that she didn't want to come back to Joy. And I just want to say, based on all the videos I saw of her with Yoki, like, I think Yoki really loved joy a lot um a lot like i think there was a real good genuine connection between them both you know it was mutual i think joy loved really loved yoki and yoki you know loved joy and okama and everybody there so you know i was a little bit in my motions when i made those videos the other day man i feel like a fucking sorry <laughs> i got i think i got an ant bite me um but uh yeah i just wanted to apologize you know i didn't mean to say anything ill i, I mean i don't really feel I mean, I feel bad for saying those things, and I also want to be clear that I do think that Yoki loved Joy a lot, and I don't know the exact reasons why she disappeared or did what she did, um, but I just want to say that, you know, regardless of all that, I do think they had a really great and beautiful relationship, and um, it was sad when I saw her go, and, you know, I do know that living in the cities and stuff like that does drive you know, I know I know what it does to Little Bear, so I can imagine Yoki not wanting to go back to her house because just you know that part of the city was not something that, a, you know, from my perspective, a dog would like to be around. Um, but again, I don't know these things, and um, I did want to just share that I do think Yoki really loved Joy, and Joy loved Yoki, and um, yeah, and that's about all I got to say about that. But yeah, I will be leaving uh today to go to oregon um last yesterday all of yesterday i was sick as fuck i had food poisoning mark cooked up some food um hey man. mark cooked up some food that was uh wrapped in bacon some steaks and the bacon looked off um it even kind of smelled off while i was eating it and um you know my arrogance i was like oh i'll be fine i've been eating out of a trash can for for months now like i felt kind of impervious to you know sick food poisoning and any type of sickness that would come from eating um food like that you know but uh man i got sick i got really really sick i was puking and um i had really bad diarrhea for a couple of hours and then my stomach was literally full of like it felt like somebody had put a vice around my stomach and was like any not from from the outside and from the inside it was just excruciating pain in my stomach area i felt like my organs were shutting down like part of me was like should i call an ambulance you know um but i was like what are they gonna do there's nothing they can really do i just gotta ride this out so <clears throat> i also got really fucking weak like to where i could barely walk a couple hundred feet um it was gnarly man yeah my whole body was like shaking and sweating and just extremely weak you know, mixed with everything else that was going on and being homeless and I had to do all this while like just behind bushes. So I didn't even have like a bedroom or a proper toilet or anything like that. Luckily nobody called the cops because I'm sure a few people saw me fucking going to the bathroom, but I just, I, I was too weak to go anywhere else. And then, you know, in that type of situation, you need to be like right next to where you go to the bathroom. So it's like, it was, you know, just like where I can just roll over and drop my drawers and fucking let it out, which is what I did. Um, but, you know, luckily, like I said, nobody called the cops and I'm feeling much better today. Still a little weak, 
but um, ultimately much, much, much better. I was already able to eat some food and drink some coffee. So, you know, it's all good, man. It was my own fault for being stupid and deciding to eat. Um, hey, man. Good, how you doing? Yeah, it was my fault for deciding to eat bacon that didn't look good. Mark even said something about it, and it didn't smell good. But again, in my cockiness and my arrogance, I decided to do it anyways, and I paid the price. So, anyway, I just want to share that with y'all, and yeah, I look forward to sharing with you guys Oregon again, and, you know, showing you guys how things are, and the beautiful weather to come, and continuing to work on the project, and just keep it moving. So, alright, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.